All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. And unfortunately, this is yet another video kind of following the unfortunate trend recently of people just completely doing horrible things. I'm not understanding like why all of a sudden people are just getting caught for doing stuff like this that are like YouTubers or streamers or, or somebody, right? That are just getting caught doing this kind of horrific stuff. But man, it's absolutely insane that we keep having to talk about these kinds of things. Now, today we're going to be talking about an unfortunate case involving a Brazilian streamer by the name of Raul Zito. Apparently a very popular streamer on the website Twitch, according to this article from Dexerto. <laughs> Raulinho do Oliveira. <laughs> Raulinho de Oliveira Maciel, basic, better known online as Rolzito, has hundreds of thousands of followers across Twitch, YouTube, and Instagram with gaming content the sole focus of his channels. Police say that he used his fame in the gaming world to lure children in but ultimately targeted users on Instagram with child actors coming forward as victims. The Civil Police of Rio de Janeiro's Department for Child and Adolescent Victims detained Ralzito on Tuesday, July 27th in Florianopolis in the state of Santa Catarina. So, basically, this Fortnite streamer, uh, sexually assaulted two children, okay? Uh, Fortnite streamer, right? Obviously, Fortnite is a game that children love. I mean, I also like Fortnite, but at the end of the day, right, like, the graphics and the game style and everything, right, it just, it really definitely caters more to children. And so, this guy was another one of these creators, unfortunately, that was able to gain the trust of children through the kind of content that they made, and then later, again, used that power, used that influence in order to, like, basically be a predator for children. And it's fucking insane how much, you know, this stuff happens, and then on top of that, it's also insane that like when you think of a gaming creator right like that would do something like this your first thoughts would probably automatically go to like a minecraft or a fortnite streamer someone who takes that shit like way too seriously right like that's the kind of person that people i think because of like the lion maker situation have kind of always focused in on in a way right but uh I think this might have been, unfortunately, the most predictable crime of all time, because I'm about to show you a picture of this fucking psychopath that has been arrested on suspicion of assaulting two young children. So go ahead and take a look at this guy and tell me that if I told you this is the guy who was arrested for assaulting two kids, are you surprised? Are you really? Like, if you saw this guy in the street, is one of the first things that's not coming to your mind is like, this guy is a fucking psychopath, I wouldn't want my kids around him. I don't even know what this guy was thinking with what he's done here, I, I don't know what he's supposed to be, is this motherfucker a loot llama? Like, what's going on? Is he cosplaying some sort of Fortnite skin I have never seen? Like, are they putting this motherfucker in the Icon series? Come on, bro. Why is he rocking a fully pink beard and then blue hair? He looks like Marge Simpson mixed with like a 2K Creator character that just got randomized on the facial hair. Like, I'm so serious when I say if I were walking at like 9 p.m. and this guy was walking toward me on the sidewalk, I would be in fear for my fucking life. I mean, there is literally no human being on planet Earth who just has nothing less to lose than someone who fucking does this with their hair and beard. According to agents, the mother of a victim revealed that her son said he suffered from abuse at the hands of the YouTuber between February and May this year. Another child under 12 years old also reported being fucking victimized by Raul Zito. The cases took place in, I can't pronounce that, the metropolitan region of Rio and in the municipality of Sao Caetano de Sul in Sao Paulo. The victims aged between 10 and 14 are child theater, film, and TV actors. So this guy basically was targeting kids who are in the entertainment industry in some form, right? Like these are kids who selected for roles and whatnot as children to be in film and all kinds of other things, right? They're basically entertaining people. And this guy's fucking targeting them. These kids are actors and whatnot. According to the investigations, the accused gained contact with the children through Instagram and promised access to jobs in his area of expertise, even claiming to be hired by a major TV station. 
In light of the victim's reports, the DCAV team asked the court for search and seizure warrants and a temporary arrest warrant after he was located and arrested. Paul Zito's team, SBT Games, released a statement following the arrest saying that Raul Zito is no longer a part of the company and that they, quote, awaits the elucidation of the facts and result of the investigation. Police believe that there are more than just these two victims, too, finalizing their statement by saying that, quote, investigations continue to identify other victims of the perpetrator. So the likelihood that this guy actually ended up victimizing more than two children is pretty high at this point, right, according to what we're hearing. It seems like the more that they look into this guy and who he's been interacting with, the more cases that seem probable. And it's like, can you even fix this kind of person from doing something so fucking degenerate? Like, is there really any humane way to solve this problem? Because you gotta think of the two options that this motherfucker has right now, right? And no, Number one, and this is the one that he's probably gonna want but end up regretting, he's gonna end up going to fucking jail, okay? He's gonna hopefully end up serving some time, right? Like, some serious time. That way he really gets the message. And then when... Raul Zito, the multicolored fucking Fortnite streamer, okay, walks into cell block D, if you know what I'm saying. He's gonna be turned into the fucking personal toy of every guy bigger than him in that cell block, and then he's probably going to end up being fucking brutally killed. I don't know if you guys know this, but chomos, as they're called in prison, or pedos, right, when they go to jail, they suffer. It is widely known that in prison, these people are basically viewed as inhuman and are treated with complete disrespect by everybody and are punished constantly by the other prisoners, if you know what I'm saying. So, to make matters worse, right, you gotta think, it's him, okay? He's the one who's going into prison. Like, this guy is not fucking defending himself, right? It's gonna be a big problem, so... It's just getting sad that the extent that this, you know, content creator, like, getting caught doing horrible shit kind of thing is going. We've seen all these massive creators being accused of all types of different sexual misconduct, assaults, all kinds of things. They're trying to brush this shit off like it didn't happen, okay? People online are talking about it. And it's just happening one after the other. You know, you got your EDP-445s, James Charles's, Raul Zito's. It's like, how many people are going to get called out for this kind of shit before something ends up happening, man? Like, what, what, when is it going to come to a day where you don't have to worry about your children watching the wrong fucking Fortnite streamer lest they somehow get messaged on Instagram and become a victim. Like, it's absolutely insane because, like, I feel, I, I'm, I'm probably wrong, but, like, I feel like when I was a kid in the golden, quote-unquote, age of YouTube from, like, 2006 to, like, 2010, you didn't really see these kinds of stories, man. Like, when I was watching YouTube as a kid, this kind of stuff just wasn't really happening, man. At least, like, it, we didn't know about it, right? It wasn't like every other week there was a Dexerto article telling you that, you know, your favorite gamer from 2017 or whatever was a complete piece of moral inhumane shit. But man, like, I, it just, it's so horrible to read shit like this, dude. To think that, you know, playing a game that obviously targets kids, right, and this is the kind of shit that goes down, it's like, it makes you wonder almost, like, how many more there are out there, right? Like, how many more people in the YouTube, Twitch, social media influencing industry are out there, you know, being active predators by doing things like this? It's horrible to think about, but... Anyway, with that being said, though, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel. Follow me over on Twitter and Twitch at Subdaoptimus. Make sure to check out Shop Opti down below. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus Well. Just hating to even have to talk about shit like this, man. And signing out.